afternoon. Try not to look up there, try to look at you here. Um, it is Sunday, it's the start of a new week. So this is your first weekly since I've had a break. So I'm starting it today. I don't know why I didn't start it yesterday. Oh, we were doing the garage and all sorts and it was just, oh, there was just so much going on. But yeah, like I say, we sorted the garage out yesterday. Today I have put pictures up in the hall because obviously we've had the hall painted and that you'd have seen in the decorating vlog. And then, um, what else have I done? Oh, I've put all the DVDs in the towers in the garage. Uh, yeah, that's about it really. Just tidied up, done a bit of cleaning. I'll show you the pictures. Let me turn you around. So I put these ones up. You might, if you've followed me for a while, you'll remember these from the conservatory. So these three, I mean, that one was in the lounge, I think. But yeah, so that one was when Holly was in Chicago. That one was when Poppy played Fat Sam and Bugsy Malone. And that one was when TJ came to visit us and we went to Harry Potter tour. And that's uh, Thomas there, that's Holly's best friend. And then here I've got the one of Holly that was in our hall and me and Ange. And then round the corner, I've got my Thingy Toff, Sam Toff pictures, which I love. So I don't really want to get rid of them. Let me let Mark in, because I think that's Mark. Is it Mark, is it Mark, is it Mark? It is. Yes, it is, hello. Hello. So, um, yeah, what else did I put up? Oh, and in here, I put up these two pictures. This was when we went to Edinburgh. So you may have seen them on my social media. But I love them so much I put them up in our bedroom and I've got this clock to put up well Mark has got it to put up and I'm going to put that there so next to them so yes that's all good we're off to home sense in a minute um, to get some bits for the house or the bungalow I should call it now so you can come with us have arrived home sense this one that's it <laughs> this is nice mark this is what was on the thing 15 pounds that would look really nice wouldn't it on that windowsill cute they're a bit rough actually. I thought they'd be soft but they're rough. Surrounded by flowers. Yeah. Flowers, flowers and more flowers. Where's Poppy? Oh there she is. So she's got a, she's got a gnome on a scooter. That's brilliant. How much is that? <laughs> Ten pounds. Ten pounds, is that all? all right. That's brilliant. <laughs> Excellent. That's so cool. Okay, what, for the garden? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, it's an Easter one. It's a little gnome there. Six ninety-nine. All the Easter stuff out. Do people actually put all this stuff out at Easter? Oh, yeah. Blimey. Look at all them. It's cool, isn't it? 89.99 yeah, I don't know if there'd be room for that we've got so much stuff syrups right what one are we going to smell first gardenia and white peach oh that is so nice you smell that mm, that is really nice oh it's so good guava kiwi how much is that one? 299. Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. That one. Hang on. Mm -hmm. Getting that one. 299. That's nice. Yeah. Can I have a cupcake? Can you put that one in the trolley? Please? Oh, you won't like that. Ugh. Black tea and plum. You're all plum. Nah, not feeling that one. What's that? No. 
lemongrass. This one hasn't got us. Oh yeah, white gardenia. Oh, that is so nice. Ooh, no, that's Do you not like poo. that? That doesn't smell like poo. <laughs> this poo smells like that. These ones are nice, they're in a marble case, six ninety nine. That smells nice. Mm, I really like so that. So you, you'd like that, it's got the marble case on it. <laughs> right, have we smelt enough candles or are you oh, still I really looking? Like that. Mm. $6.99 now, it's mm. quite a lot. Flower fields, flower. Mm. Mm -hmm. You like that mm, one? That's very nice. Yeah, you can have that one for your room then, it's $2.99. Oh, you've got to remember thanks. to blow it out. In the clearance section, chocolate penguin. Who's going to want that now? Seriously. It's all Christmas stuff, isn't it? Candles. What I'm looking for is hot chocolate syrups, like the little oh, ones, yeah. but I don't want the big ones. I haven't seen any. Look at that, perfect chair. <laughs> she could get on that. <laughs> That's green. That's a green cushion. That's grey. That's green. Grey green. Grey green. <laughs> And that's the wrong colour. Oh, it's very soft. That is very soft. <laughs> that is nice. They're such good quality, their cushions here. They're all crunchy. That's nice as well. Probably fit two in there, wouldn't you? Mm, doubt it. Just one at the back for someone to sit. Ah! Follow the pops, follow the pops. Where are we going, pops? I don't know, what, are you getting poop? No. We're just looking where you are, so we'll go up that way. Lots of footstools, duvets, or dovets. <laughs> Stuff it. More throws. I'm happy with the throws I've got. That's what I was intending on, get something like that right. and putting the throws in them. Right. But I liked the other one. I, oh, look at that. <gasps> that is so nice. It's big, though, isn't it? Yeah, it is big. £25, not bad is it for that? No. It's nice though. Love that chair, that colour is gorgeous. And that plant, it's cool. Hello and welcome to Tuesday. It's Tuesday in it, haven't done that for a while. Um, so yeah, I'm standing in front of the new wardrobe. Two wardrobes now. Um, yeah, so there's been lots going on. Yesterday I had this wardrobe delivered plus an Esther tables that I'll show you in a minute and the painting was finished on the cupboard doors which I'll also show you in a minute and today we had the new sofa delivered really early it was like Hubble State I think they came so yeah that was interesting so then last night we had to put the sofa and chair from the lounge in our bedroom which is here um, so we've got like a suite in here now it's like a hotel suite because we've got the bed there we've got the sofa over there and then we've got the wardrobes I know they're different colors and they're also different heights slightly but that's because this one is so old from Oak Furniture Land that it was that color to start with so that will fade to that but also They've obviously changed the design because it's got a bigger drawer as well at the bottom, which is great for me for my long boots to go in. Um, so yeah, I'm not bothered about that. So we've got the two wardrobes, the chest of drawers, and then we've got this. But what I said to Mark is I feel this coffee table is too big for the room. So I'm selling that. 
because there's nowhere for it to go can't re, re upcycle it or whatever you call it so that's going and then I'm just going to put the little grey round table in the corner over there for someone to put their drink on if they need it um, oh you've got the bedside cabinet there as well haven't you that you could put your drink on um, but this is all our files all our paperwork which is going to go I know it's a small gap at the moment we're going to have to shift everything that way a bit but we're going to have a filing cabinet in here that I'm going to spray and um, yeah surprisingly I'm going to spray it grey and then we're going to put it in there with, and I'm going to sort through all the paperwork because I find filing, when they're in those box files, they're really hard to file. So that's a job for me at some point. Um, so that's the bedroom. So everything, oh, I don't know if I've shown you the clock and pictures on the wall either, which looks really nice. I'm really pleased with it. So yeah. So let's take you through to the lounge and show you, oh, I'll show you this corner actually first. So I put my grey flower flower display there and I think it looks really nice let me back up a bit so you can see the full effect and these handles I'll show you I bought those I believe off eBay and I just love them I just think they're just really different like different clock faces on them and it goes with the sort of the the monochrome look but it's still not focusing very well this camera is it there's a dog in there because she's had a shower, haven't you Eve? Had a shower, can you see her hiding under a blanket because she's cold. Right, so down this way we've got the, the little uh, table that I upcycled back and then all the pictures are now back on the wall so I've put some up there. There's the coat hooks for guests and then some up there. So let's take you through, hello, to the lounge. So here it is in all its glory. So we've got a chair, that's actually a three-seater sofa. I know it looks like two-seater, but you can get three people on that. And the poof, which is also an Ottoman poof, so you can lift it up and store things in. I haven't done as yet, but I will do. Um, and it's one of the recliners. So on here, you've got the buttons that make it go up and down, which is great because, um, for obviously for me, to get comfortable, because my knees have to be bent, they can't be straight, but I can't have them fully bent, so to have the recliner is brilliant. But yeah, these cushions are what we got from HomeSense, when you came with us and I love them but we haven't put a cushion in here because I don't believe it needs it it's fine on its own it doesn't need a cushion but we have put a cushion on the back here because we're using this this little poof as a as an extra seat and then I've got my basket down here with all the throws in which is nice and cozy so yeah I'm really pleased with it um, I think it's all coming together. Oh yeah, look, and here are the doors. Now, you'll have to, look, I've got Philip and Holly on the telly. You'll have to excuse me because you could probably see the difference. I haven't painted this yet because he ran out of time to do that. So he's painted the doors. Let me back up a bit. Don't want to fall over the sofa. So he's painted the doors, which I think looks so much better white. But I don't know if you can tell the difference in that colour of that door frame. You probably can. I can. So that's my job tomorrow to paint that door frame. But I'm really pleased with it all. I think it looks really nice. And I don't know if I showed you when we went to Home Sense. We bought this this uh, little faux this faux flowers in a pot for the windowsill and it was £15 which I thought was a really good deal and it just does lovely on there it just sets it off nicely if you're wondering what this is that's our pot it's a memory pot so I will explain so when um, we have dinner together once a week whenever that is we don't have, only have dinner once a week together but you know whenever we choose to do it we 
get a piece of paper each and we write down a good thing that's happened that week or something that we feel really good about or a positive thing, um, anything like that. And then what we do is at the end of the year we read them all back to uh, each other and we did it for the first time last year. We read them in the, in the bungalow and it was so nice. I didn't want it to end. And we, we also played guess who it was, guess who, what, who wrote the quote. So, yeah, that's, that's a good tip for you if you fancy doing something with your family. Um, you can, or even just for yourself, you could, you know, just write down positive things that are happening or nice things that have happened. It could even be that you had a good sleep or, you know, that you enjoyed something on the tap. Anything, anything that's good. Um, and it just makes you smile, you know, looking back at it all. So, anyway, that's my update for today. I've got Poppy off. Actually, I was going to show you Poppy's wardrobe. I'll show you Poppy's wardrobe door another day because she's in bed poorly. She's not feeling very well today. I think she's just got a virus. So, hopefully, she'll be going back to school tomorrow. What's tomorrow? Wednesday. I'm hoping to get to seated yoga tomorrow because I've been for, well, months. So I really want to go see to yoga tomorrow. I did a Coco Lime fitness workout this morning and I took Evie out and I've done jobs. So I could suffer for that later. <laughs> but hey ho, it's good to keep moving. Good afternoon. Yes, it's 20 to 1. It is, what day is it? Thursday. It's Thursday today, all day. And today I have been painting again, surprisingly, it's surprising that isn't it, painting. Um, let me show you what I've painted today. So in here, let's put the lights on, I have painted this frame. We actually lost the paint for it, the white paint, but we found it, obviously, because I've painted it. So now all the doors are done in there so all the paintings done in this room now which is really good so you've seen it many a time and then I've painted in here Poppy's um, surround of her doors that were painted white she's got there's reason she's got one handle because the holes are too close in for these handles so at the weekend Mark's got to make a, a hole sort of further this way and then he can put them on but she obviously needed one handle to be able to open and close the door so that's why I've put that on there for now but yeah that's that's what I've painted oh and I painted Holly's windowsill Holly's in there because she's got migraine today see her under her dressing gown oh look surprisingly there's a dog with you but yeah that's Holly's windowsill all painted so obviously we've still got to paint the rest of Holly's room which we may start into my hair this um, weekend possibly <laughs> I'll just be glad when all the painting's done because we've still got paint un in our bedroom the pipe under there has got to be painted white so that's got to be I could have done that while I had the white paint out I forgot about that oh well I'd had enough anyway and I've shown you the room with the sofa and chair and I'm sure I have but I've got this throw um, has come and the cushions which I love and then I've got this throw that's on the back of this chair which is nice I always think that like I think soft furnishings just finish a room I think they you know set it off but we have sold our coffee table because we we've been sort of thinking that it looks too big in here so it's going to be so much more spacious when that's gone. Um, so that's going in February sometime. And then we'll have all that space back. Which will be good. So yeah, like I say, Holly's off today poorly with her migraine. Because they changed her medication at the hospital. And she's kind of reacted to it. Which I knew she would because I've been on it and it's a horrible medicine. So we're going to try and sort that out. And... Poppy went in yesterday but then she wanted to come home because she didn't feel well still so she came home around lunchtime I think yesterday but she's gone in today because she's sort of there most of the day really she's got 
uh, band rehearsal because they're doing a production of um, We Will Rock You and although she's not allowed to perform in it because of their GCSEs in year 11 um, she's been asked to do the percussion so like she's using an egg shaker a bongo drum a tri oh she's doing loads of different instruments so we're going to watch that next next Wednesday I believe yeah I don't I don't know if it's Wednesday or Thursday. Yeah, it's Wednesday, Holly, not Thursday next week. Oh. Told her the wrong day. Yeah, it's Wednesday night, so that's what we're doing. Next Wednesday, we're going to see her. Um, so, yeah, that's sort of the update. I've got a, an ill house <laughs> this week. Um, but I'm glad Poppy's gone in today because I don't really want her to miss too much with the GCSEs coming up. Um, I know Holly's going to work from home today, so she only had one lesson, I think, biology anyway, so it's not too bad. I've got choir tonight, so I was thinking I might take you with me, because I haven't filmed choir for a while, and you can come and see Miss Angela, with Angela's section. So yeah, that would be all good. Good morning, and... 20 to 1. Take 2. Good afternoon and welcome to Friday, Friday, Friday. Oh, and I must change that. I must get a new song for Friday. Any suggestions? Let me know. If not, I'll, I'll have a look and see what I can do. I'm just trying to find the dog. She's gone outside. Now, this is the dilemma I have, right? This takes up a lot of unnecessary spoons. So I come to this door here no dog right now come with me we have to go to the back door because there's two ways she can go in and out this is the back door is she here there she is hey we got it right eve so <laughs> what it is is that like she'll go to one door i'll go to the other and then I'll call her, she'll go to the other door, and, and we play like cat and mouse. And it's just ridiculous, so, but she got it right that time. Anyway, hope you're having a nice Friday. I'm out of breath now. That's so sad, isn't it, that I'm out of breath just from walking that distance. So unfit, Nicola, so unfit. I'm just about to record a fibro section on counselling for you. And what have I done so far? I've cleaned the bathroom and toilet because on a Friday I clean the bathroom and toilet. I also use Dave the Duster. If you don't know what Dave the Duster is, you obviously don't follow Mrs Hinch on Instagram. Um, so yeah, that's what I've been up to. But I wondered if anyone, and I've done fibromyalgia hacks like, you know, aids that we can use. But I wonder if anyone would be interested in like what, how I spread my cleaning out and how, what I use for cleaning to save spoons. Let me know in the comments below if you'd be interested in that because I'm willing to film it so it's up to you. If that would benefit you, I'll film it for you. Anyway, so Holly has just gone into college. She's still not feeling great but she's better than she was. So she's able to drive, which is the most important thing. But she had psychology this morning, but she thought, I said to her, have breakfast, have a rest. And then if you feel up to it, go in for the afternoon. So that's what she's done. Because drama, hang on, I've got to swap arms because my arm's killing me. Drama's more important at the moment. So that's what she's gone in to do. Poppy's at school. So I've got a little time on my own. So I thought I'd film that. I might go through my craft boxes this afternoon. I've got to take Evie out. And I've got a phone, TJ, because I haven't spoken to him in, like, forever. And I'll have to ask him if we can have a TJ section, a TJ section back. Just before I forget, I must have a shout-out. Poppy's asked me to have a shout-out um, to two of her friends, Chloe and Ruby. So if you're watching this, hello, Chloe and Ruby. Ah, one quick thing as well. I didn't film choir last night because I didn't go had a flare up. I took Poppy to school because she had to go back for an evening performance like I said like rehearsals and on the way back I thought I'm not feeling good 
and then I thought I shouldn't be driving I don't feel good and I got home and I'm, whenever I get home when I feel like that I just feel relief got out of the car and got sat down and thought and I had a, a diet Pepsi because sometimes the caffeine in that can kick me into doing something but then the pain started and I was just feeling sick I felt really sick I ate some dinner but I felt so sick and I texted Angela and she said no she said just listen to your body get in your pajamas watch a film so I didn't go to choir last night which did upset me because I hate missing choir I love it but Angela's right I needed to listen to what my body needed and that was to go to bed so this morning I felt like I've been hit by a bus as usual anyway gonna end the vlog here hope you've enjoyed this week this is the first full weekly that I've done because the other two was moving and decorating so hope you've enjoyed my week don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done already I'm nearly up to 200 I know that might not seem much for some people some people have got like over a thousand or ten thousand or but you know what numbers don't really bother me I know I say you know oh I'm nearly up to 200 great if I am I am but the reason I do this is for those few people that comment and you know who you are and say how much I've helped you. Over Christmas I got lovely comments saying how much I've helped people, how much advice I've given them more than the doctor ever has. That is why I do these videos. And so that it's like a, a record of, you know, my life. So you can look back on it because it's there forever. Well, hopefully it is anyway. I'm rambling on. Hit the thumbs up. Leave me a nice comment. See you next week. Bye.